Hey y'all, I'm back, kind of, sort of, we'll see. I just wanted to update you guys on my shop and some business plans. I'm not closing shop, <laughs> busy, busy, and I haven't even had time to create simply because I'm doing people's orders most of the time. Every time I feel like I complete an order, I end up having to get more and then I don't ever get to create for myself. So busy doing that. If you are new and haven't known or haven't not familiar with my shop, I do sell quite a few things. Um, body butter, digital outlines, artwork, still pending. Also a lot of like concrete stuff like holders and trinket tray. I do have a handmade shop. I do all the work. My Apple Pencil, this is my little buddy here. That's what I mostly sell in my shop as well. It's digital outlines. Or I started experimenting with candles. This is my little candle. Lovely latte and I ran out of fragrance. Um, I'm doing like a red velvet candle as well. So it's gonna look just like the lovely latte, but it's gonna be red velvet. These are from fall. They're still here. I'm willing and hoping to hire like a social media manager, marketer, something. So I still do a lot of my clay stuff. And I also did, I still have yet to post like little coasters that I painted myself. These little ice cream one that I did. I made these trinket trays that I also painted. So I could do custom ones. And these are actually coated with resin. And it's just been sitting here. I haven't even like posted it to sell it. I haven't taken the best pictures of it neither. So these are my set for my candles. Um, I've got my little Cricut machine, which I absolutely love. I actually do sell mud masks as well. I know, crickets. Of course I made the little label with my cricket and I put the ingredients on the back and it's such a cute font. These chicken trays can fit right on your counter side with a lovely body butter. I'm hoping to go from plastic to glass and any size body butter will fit on here and my chicken trays and then they're of course gonna be waterproof because they're coated in resin I mean there's some artwork that I've been working on let me cover this real quick this one is like my first artwork covered in resin and she's in the sky it's very dreamy and just really cute I also start on this one I don't know, it's just ice cream, just her nails done. Something really, really just cute and fun. Um, it's gonna turn out great. That's, that's my thing. I just gotta get started on it. I've also purchased some like wood panels to start working on. I know, I saw them, I'm like, and I'm just deciding whether they should be like oil or acrylic. So, uh, I don't know, I just have so many, so many, so many things to do. And it's just like the timing. Website still, it's been in progress for like two years. Website is just not to me what I want it to look like. And I just can't get it there. Like quite a few of these just sitting here. And this is like a gender neutral one right here. And these are papayas. Whenever I want to start a project, something new and want to try it, I always use papayas. And these are also coated in resin. And they're just sitting here. And if you want them, I can post them on my Etsy, you know, and I can ship them to you. Um, they're not gonna be perfect. Least they look amazing. Um, I also have a heat press. And I'm, oh, I'm working on getting a sublimation printer because I really want to just like start. I'll take this thing off. I want to start at least putting my artwork maybe on T-shirts. I recreate a lot of characters. I just make them like a black version just to have something. Because growing up, I didn't have 
If I watched a TV show like an anime, I didn't have, I wasn't looking at someone that looked like me. It's like, I'll just turn any character into a woman of color because I feel like, okay, that's a little more inclusive. Um, so if you haven't seen on my TikTok or my Instagram, follow me. Even though I don't post as often, I'm trying. I promise you, I'm trying. Harry Potter houses, I know. <gasps> Do you like them? I know. Me too. It's Gryffindor. <gasps> I know. Here's Slytherin. This it seems like everyone's favorite is Slytherin. And of course, my house, Ravenclaw. And, and they all have a medieval theme, including the Horcrux in them. So it's, those are the kind of characters that I just like recreate. They're not original artwork because I'm using like, let's say, the copyright or brand name Harry Potter or Warner Brothers, whichever. So it's not like I can just post my Etsy and sell them. I just, of course, make like a black version. It's actually the screen cover of my iPad. I just need to make my own original stuff. Well, they're, they're mine, but the character name is copyright. So, um, oh yeah, and the outfits are still like, just the character itself is it's pretty much copyright. I got a little chunky girl in there too. I'm working on just diversifying my brand. Like I said, I want to turn my plastic into glass. Just have like a little fancier look, working on photography, and just changed up quite a bit of things for my brand. So I'm just, I'm working on it. I'm gonna get there. It's just, I'm busy, but I'm here. My shop's open. At one point, I'm gonna start selling them for a, like a better price. By the time being, I can't simply because if I'm doing 50, let's say 50 canvases, and it's just outlines, I have to draw 50 times with a pencil and then draw another 50 times with a marker. And I don't like setting up quality stuff, so it takes me it's more, a little bit more time consuming. So it takes me longer time. That's why it probably costs so much because it takes me so many hours. Yeah, like for example, I have this lovely, these are mine. They're just simple artwork, simple line art, basically. Really, really popular one. And where do I get my inspiration from? Pinterest is my most popular one. Um, my shop tends to vary. Sometimes there'll be one specific item that's popular that month, and the next month it might be a different specific item. The artwork that I did, like I'm a reference. I don't know if many artists are like this, but I have to have a reference photo. So this is like my little fun little Tina Turner art tribute to Tina. This is like my stuff that I would do on my iPad, or I mean I like, I like to paint a lot of black women because there's not there's not. I've also done lately uh, like a before and after. So like this for example, when I first started digital art, this photo took me hours to do when I first started, hours. And it, and it doesn't even look all that great compared to what it looks like now. Now, yes, I'm okay with fair skin. I haven't had as much experience with it as I should. Outlines, Zodiac outlines are now up for those who've been waiting for that. One of my most highest TikTok viewings of all time. So um, yeah, this is Gemini. I'm not a Gemini though, but um, this is everyone's favorite apparently. So renewed like my self foot portrait slash almost gonna be like a logo. And if you notice, it's kind of like stuff in the background. <laughs> it's um, office, my office inspired. And of course my colors, I'm kind of wearing, this is like a hunter green color though, but this is like, it looks like a teal almost. But like my colors, of course, teal, black, and gold. I've been working so many hours and sometimes, yes, I feel like closing my shop because I'm just like, <sighs> I'm still not a millionaire, but I'm gonna get there. <laughs> Gotta get, I see I have a new, a lot of new subscribers. I know I've, it's been a while, just, just hold on. And I wanna say welcome. 
Thank you for coming. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for asking for questions. Thank you. And I'm trying to get the videos out there. It's just timing. I know people want to see packaging. What I package, how do I package? I don't do the fanciest, so I'm gonna be honest. Painting, what do I get my inspiration from? Just an Instagram. I get most of my poses and pictures from there, so. Stay tuned, I'm gonna try to post it as much as possible. I, I see the concrete holders are really popular now. I see everyone's doing them now. <laughs> so everyone's switching over from glass to the making their own concrete, saving money. Um, but I do sell these as well. I just haven't been focused on them a lot. I have just cement just sitting out there. Yeah. That polyacrylic has been sitting there since August of 2021 yet to experiment with it and hopefully it works it's supposed to work because it is concrete and specific for concrete it's like we're trying to get as close to jessamite as possible and it's kind of whenever we get there I guess seeing I have um, all my stuff stored here so my body butter is usually one section my cricket stuff another candles and painting stuff so subscribe <laughs> See you later and this is my business update.